Hello YouTube! I am back with a sales results video. If you don't know me, I am Linda with Linda's Rocky Mountain Finds and I am a full-time online reseller. And I'm going to show you today the last 50 items that I've sold on eBay. I'm going to do it in a little bit of a different format than uh, I have in the past. Uh, before I've had all of the tabs open and I click through them, but now I'm just going to uh, scroll through uh, the main page and I'll click on the ones that we need to look at a little closer. So I'm going to start with this Polo by Ralph Lauren silk necktie. I actually uh, was going through a uh, death pile in a closet of mine and found these within the death pile. Uh, I think I found there were three of them and I've already sold two. Uh, so these uh, it is kind of uh, vintage. It's got the old label right there. That's the vintage uh, Ralph Lauren label. And so keep an eye out for these uh, Ralph Lauren with the crest on the tie. That is a tie that, I mean, I listed it and two of the three I listed sold within two or three days of me listing. And that's real fast for, uh, for ties because ties do tend to be very, um, very uh, slow movers. So, all right, and I did sell that for the fourteen ninety eight plus shipping. Next is this Hard Rock Cafe t-shirt. Uh, this was for Cozumel. I don't recall if they're um, closed now or not. Probably they are. Uh, I did get sixteen forty seven shipped. I had free shipping on this. I don't have free shipping on very many items, but I guess I was testing it out when I listed this particular shirt and it just, it stuck. I never changed it. So next is this personal power Anthony Robbins CD. Um, the full set, if you can get the full set of these, it has like, oh, I forget how many CDs in it, 12 or 13. Uh, they can, they'll sell for over a hundred dollars easy, even used. Um, but these I didn't have a full set so I decided to just break them up. Most of them were still sealed. Uh, this one was. A couple of them were not but uh, most of them were and so I decided just uh, list them as basically for replacement ones. So like if I had a full set minus one and I just needed to pick up one I'd jump on eBay and see if I could find somebody selling just that one. So that's kind of what I was doing with these and I sold uh, several of them so far and I sold this one. I accepted an offer of ten dollars plus shipping. Next is this Pendleton Woolen Mills wool shirt. Uh, it was solid navy blue and I accepted an offer of fifteen dollars plus shipping. I really would have liked, well actually the reason I accepted such a low offer on it is I don't, you can probably tell from this picture these sleeves are really short. Uh, so I did put in the listing that the sleeves were very short, that maybe they were actually three-quarter sleeves, which I'd never never seen with this type of shirt before. So I don't know what happened with these sleeves. So I went ahead and accepted $15 plus the shipping on this. Um, they, ha uh, they should have it by now. They haven't contacted me wanting to return it or anything, so hopefully they're okay with it. Next is this uh, set of Lego minifigs. I picked up a 10 pound lot of Lego bricks on the Goodwill auction site. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I paid for it. But the, I was getting it just based on weight because I sell my bulk eBay, um, or eBay, my bulk Lego bricks on a site. Uh, called Replay Bricks and they buy them by the pound and I was able to pick these up on the Goodwill auction site knowing that I was going to make some decent profit just selling them to Replay Bricks but when I got them and came home there were actually quite a few minifigs including some Star Wars ones so I went ahead and pulled out all of them and I listed the minifigs just on their own and got put them up for auction stupidly I, I just don't think about these things I always forget about thinking about holidays and I think this may have ended on, yeah, ended on Christmas Day. So that was stupid. Don't have your auctions end on holidays or even the day before or day after as people are traveling. 
I just wasn't thinking when I did this. I, I just get into listing mode and I don't think about that type of stuff and I need to get better about that. So yeah, don't don't have your auctions ending on a holiday, especially Christmas. So I just got the one bid, $25 plus shipping, but that was just bonus because my money's coming from selling the bricks to replay bricks. So Next is this PS2 game, Battle Star Wars Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront Front has quite a following. Uh, so if you find these games in any format, uh, scan them. Most of them do have profit even used. I did get uh, $15, $14.99 plus the shipping on this. Next is this Under Armour women's shirt. I believe I may have picked this up at the TJ Maxx clearance, yellow clearance sale. And uh, so I would have got it for like less than $5, probably 3 or $4. And I accepted an offer on this for 15 uh, plus some shipping. The, after the guy bought it, he uh, messaged me and said, hey, I thought this was supposed to be free shipping. And I told him, I said, I'm sorry, I don't do free shipping. Uh, there was not free shipping on this item. Then he didn't pay, didn't pay. I messaged him and said, uh, you know, did you want to cancel the order? Um, and he says, no, I want to buy it. So then I decided to be nice and I messaged him and said I would send him an invoice uh, with the shipping cut in half that we would split the shipping. So I got a dollar <clears throat> dollar seventy four shipping on this. So I did have to pay a little bit of the shipping, but not much because it went first class. Next is this Neiman Marcus cashmere sweater. Uh, I accepted an offer of twenty four plus shipping. I would have liked to get more on it, but I have had it for a while and uh, just really trying to move stuff. So I accepted twenty four plus uh, plus the shipping on this. And of course, all my clothing, I would tend to pick up at $5 or less anyway, so still nice profit. This puzzle, uh, it the box, it was sealed, but the box had some damage. And I picked it up for $5 at a little thrift store that I go to, and I accepted an offer of $38 plus shipping. It was a big puzzle. I think it's, yeah, it's 6,000 pieces. Never had a puzzle that big before. Uh, so the box itself was pretty big as well. The shipping um, was was pretty expensive, but the customer paid for it. So uh, I've had these for a while. I picked these up, I think, at a garage sale. Uh, they didn't appear to have ever been used. I have, I had four of them, and this. Per so I listed a multi quantity listing, and. It sold. I, the person bought two of them, so they bought two for fifteen ninety seven plus shipping, uh, and so I still have two left. Uh, but they were pretty cool. Next is this vintage Pendleton woolen mill shirt. Another one of these. Uh, accepted an offer of twenty six dollars plus shipping on this one, and this is one of the nice plaid ones. Uh, it's actually kind of a thinner, uh, thinner wool, uh, so it actually shipped first class. Uh, but I love finding the vintage Pendletons. The prices definitely have come down um, the last couple of years on them, but they do still sell and sell for a decent profit. So uh, I've been running a 50% off sale on my jeans because any jeans I have in my store now I've had for a while and I wanted to try move a bunch of them before I list those almost 100 pairs of jeans I've got uh, ready to ready to list that I picked up the 99 cent sale. So I've been running 50% off on my currently listed jeans, and uh, these I did sell on uh, sell for $7.99 plus shipping. And keep in mind, pretty much all of the jeans I pick up, I pick up for $0.99. Cents. I wait to buy jeans at the $0.99 cent sales unless I find some that are definitely a higher, much higher brand that I can command more money for. But I just don't like paying the $6, $7 that the thrift stores around here sell jeans for at full price. So at $7.99 plus shipping, that's not a lot of profit, but like I said, I would have paid $0.99 cents for them, so there's a little bit of profit there. Next is this Peter Millar, or Miller, however you pronounce it, sweater, pure cashmere. I accepted an offer of $35 plus shipping on this. This came from the big lot of Peter Miller, Millar shirts, sweaters and shirts that I picked up at an estate sale. I got them all for Let's see, the sweaters I got for $5 a piece. And uh, so sold that for 35 plus shipping, so nice profit there. Very, This is a very good brand. If you find this guy 
either ties or shirts or sweaters uh, at the right, you know, if you get them at the right price, pick them up because uh, it does have quite the following. Next is this Scully Men's Pearl Snap shirt. Uh, I did get $30.76 plus shipping. I think I had best offer on it, but the person just paid full price. And uh, it's a high-end high brand. <clears throat> and the neck, let me go into it. The neck, the collar tag, see, it's kind of got that fancy lining. And then it had this fancy embroidered inside the neck, kind of like the Robert Graham shirts do. It had the same type thing going on there. So that kind of told me it was a high-end brand. Uh, let's see here. Next is another pair of jeans that actually these uh, weren't, they bought these in between my sales because I'd be running the sale, then it would end and there'd be some time in between uh, that they weren't on sale and these actually sold during that time. So I got $15.71 plus the shipping on those. So that was nice. I picked up a huge lot of the Star Wars a Tactics figures. This is a game. A Tactics is a type of, um, uh, I don't know if it's a role playing game, but they're played with these figures and these figures shoot out bullets and they have values and everything. This was a huge lot of the Star Wars ones I got on the Goodwill auction site. And I went through and listed the uh, the good ones individually, so the super rare ones individually, and then I have a, a lot up of just a, a bunch of the commons. I accepted a one person bought two of these. In fact, there's the other one, and sent me an offer. Since he was buying two, I accepted his offers on this one here. Accepted an offer of seven, and this one here accepted an offer of seventeen, and he paid the shipping. Um, I do believe I combined the shipping. Uh, but they still shipped uh, first class. So next is this Adidas Addy Pure jacket. Um, it was new with tags, but I think I got it at a garage sale or an estate sale. I don't think I got this at the uh, TJ Maxx uh, yellow clearance sale. And on this, I accepted an offer of twenty-five dollars plus shipping. I'd had it for a while, so I was okay with taking twenty-five on it. Next is another pair of jeans. This was part of the half off sale, so they went for $12.09 plus shipping. And again, I would have picked them up for 99 cents. The, the Lauren Ralph Lauren or the, you know, the Lauren jeans, uh, they actually are pretty good movers, but this pair, it was a brown pair. Uh, it had been sitting for a while, so. Another pair of jeans, half off sale, $10.49. These are Carhartt. Actually, these are coming back. Uh, I just got a message from her yesterday. She said they didn't fit, so she's returning them. Uh, since the reasons, because she, they don't fit and the measurements were in the listing, um, she's going to have to pay the shipping. So for a $10 item, I, I don't know. She's going to pay, you know, shipping, shipping back. So uh, let's see. Another pair of jeans, American Eagle Artist Super Stretch. And on the 50% off sale, these went for $8.91 plus shipping. This was a knife I picked up for a few dollars at a garage sale. And I t accepted an offer of $20 plus shipping. And he's already received it and left me positive feedback. Now the pair of jeans, half off sale, $10.83 plus shipping. She's already received them and left positive feedback. So that is good. Champs Notre Dame University Heavy Quilted Hoodie. I've had this forever. Um, it was one of the, on my, my rack of clothes that don't get binned. Um, I do have a rack of stuff that, that I don't pre-bag and put in a bin. And this was at the very end of the rack, which means I've had it for a very long time. <laughs> I was really surprised. I thought this actually would sell quickly because Notre Dame fans, you know, they like their 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 stuff. But I uh, finally sold it. I accepted an offer of twenty dollars plus ten dollars shipping. I think the shipping ended up being a little bit more than ten dollars, but I had flat rate back when I was doing this I, because of the heaviness to try and help move it. I I just wanted to do a flat ten dollars shipping. Um, 
and I think I probably ended up paying maybe twelve thirteen dollars to ship it so anyway it's gone it's a big thing off of my rack so I was glad to see it move another pair of half off jeans gap 1969 standard jeans is uh, were kind of a faded black or a gray uh, $8.99 plus shipping this uh, cabby wool blend cardigan sweater vest um, I accepted an offer of $13 plus shipping on this another pair of half off jeans true religion Joey jeans $15.39 plus the shipping this uh, very cute strawberry short cape scrub top uh, $11.94 plus shipping this actually had best offer on it and she just paid full price so that was nice I like picking up the, the the scrub tops the cute scrub tops if I can get them super cheap because they do sell well but rarely are they going to sell for more than $12 um, and quite often sell for nine ten dollars uh, so I was quite happy to get you know almost $12 plus shipping for this one another pair of half off jeans eight dollars ninety one cents plus shipping uh, again I would have picked these up for 99 cents so some profit there I picked up a whole bunch of these rustic cast iron decorative keys uh, I got the whole box I think for five dollars and there were a whole bunch more than just the ones that were sold in this lot uh, these I accepted an offer of sixteen dollars plus shipping she's already received them and left positive feedback and she actually also bought this one here and this was uh, kind of had a hook on it to put keys and that one I accept she uh, she paid the sixteen ninety eight I don't think I have best offer on it these actually sold really quickly I don't think I had them listed for more than a couple of weeks and so keep an eye out for these decorative rustic cast iron things they don't have to actually be old uh, these I don't believe were not and I did not sell them I do put primitive in the um, the listing because it has that primitive look but I did, did stay in the description that I don't believe that they were old this item here I uh, screwed up on I cannot find it I sold it could not find it it wasn't with the other pieces from the same um, play set that I was parting out uh, it's just a, a, a part from a vintage Star Wars set so I actually ended up going onto eBay and finding another one and buying it and having it shipped to my customer so I wouldn't have to take a, a cancellation ding on my account because I just had one recently and I do not want two this close together so luckily there were plenty to buy so I went ahead and did that it's costing me money but I'd rather pay a few extra a few dollars to avoid getting that order cancellation ding on my account Stranger Things uh, DVD pick, I was picking these up at Target during Q4 for um, they had a special I think I was getting them at $9.99 so I sold this one for $25.24 with free shipping this was nice this was a part of the huge lot of Star Wars vintage Star Wars play sets I got the Jawa sand crawler uh, but I realized that this part that I did have in it obviously alone I could get a hundred dollars plus for so I decided to part it out I do still have the main playset the, the the actual sand crawler but I haven't listed it yet um, but it still sells pretty good even with this uh, out without this ladder because most of them don't have this ladder it was the piece that the kids always lost first and I did get the hundred and fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping to Kentucky because it's uh, going through the um, global shipping program so that was very nice for all of the Star vintage Star Wars stuff I got from the online estate auction I paid I think $258 so that's kind of getting back almost half my money just on the ladder for this one part next is another one of my reel to reels that great score I had during the summer of reel to reel um, uh, albums and this one I accepted an offer of ten dollars plus shipping um, I'm okay with my cat is playing with my blinds and I'm trying to stop them um, it's all profit I mean I've made so much money from these reel to reels you know I'm pretty much accepting any uh, okay offer I get on the ones that I have left now so 
a Patagonia shirt, long sleeve, real nice uh, plaid pattern with some embroidery um, stitching in it. Uh, I got $33.72 plus shipping on this. I just, I love finding Patagonia. It sells quickly and sells good. Next is this Denver Broncos Tweety Bird sweatshirt. It was vintage from 1993, had the date on it. I accepted an offer of $18 plus shipping. Uh, I just decided to move it. I was in, it was a slow day. I wanted to get some sales and I went ahead and accepted the offer, especially since we're coming out of football season. It probably was going to end up sitting for a while, so I went ahead and took $18 plus the shipping. It was very cute though. Another piece from one of the vintage Star Wars sets. This <laughs> this one I did find. Uh, $6.99 plus shipping. Uh, jump bound, a vintage bouncy jumbo ball. I've been selling a bunch of these. I picked up a whole bunch at a garage sale. I think I picked up the whole bag for a dollar. And I've been selling, I've sold quite a few of them. This one I accepted an offer of $13 plus shipping. So, um, how to tell if they're vintage? I don't know, they just look old, but you know, they may be a little roughed up or you, you can kind of tell the difference between the vintage and the newer ones. And uh, these ones that I bought were definitely vintage and um, there are collectors out there for these vintage bouncy balls. So if you happen to find any, pick them up if you can get them cheap. And uh, you can usually get somewhere between uh, uh, 10, $15 for them. Here is one of the vintage Star Wars sets. This one, um, let me go into it. It had the original box and then the plastic uh, playset part, but the big part was the cardboard backdrop along with the feet was in great condition. Uh, so I did put it up for auction. Again, why I did this during the holidays, I have no idea. Uh, but I did get uh, two bids, bid up to $81, and it's also going through the global shipping program. Uh, I actually need to ship that today, as they uh, just paid yesterday. So it's going in the global shipping program. Here's another one of the vintage Star Wars sets. This was the Jabba uh, play set. It was incomplete. It had the, the I forget what his name is but the little guy with them and it had the um, the leash for uh, for Leia but it didn't have the little globe or the the there's a piece uh, that he puts in his mouth it didn't have that but it was in real good condition I've got three bids bid up to $41 plus shipping I uh, picked up another one of these darkroom timers on the Goodwill auction site uh, paid less than $13 for it, sold it for $44.99 plus shipping, actually sold pretty quickly, sold within a couple of weeks of listing. Vintage Five Brother flannel shirt, keep an eye out for these Five Brother, they have quite a following. Prices have come down a bit on them, um, but they do still sell at a nice profit, that's what the label looks like. Uh, most of them are made in the USA, I think um, shortly before the company shut down they were starting to do some that weren't made in the USA uh, but they're no longer made this one was made in the USA union made and uh, they do better if you can find the plaid ones the plaid ones move much better on this one I accepted an offer of $15 plus the shipping because it was a solid one they don't sell as well and I'd had it for a while so I took the $15 offer pair of cabby off-white jeans on the half off sale, eleven fifty three plus shipping. A vintage Victoria Secret satin robe. I uh, accepted an offer of twenty one ninety nine plus shipping on this. Uh, I love finding the, the vintage Victoria Secret. They may take a while to sell, uh, but they do sell. So uh, the, how you can tell is the vintage Victoria Secret labels are gold. And there it is right there. So that's how you can tell if a Victoria's Secret is old. You can just tell by the label that it's old. Um, but the, they used to use the, the gold embroidery on their labels. So uh, like I said, they may, they may take a while to sell, but they do sell. Another pair of half-off jeans, Loren jeans. Again, like I said, these do usually move pretty, pretty well for me. $14.16 plus shipping. Patagonia wool sweater. 
Uh, this is a pretty heavy sweater. Um, and I accepted an offer of $25 plus shipping. Uh, this is a, I parted out a whole bunch of Fisher Price, vintage Fisher Price little people parts that I got. A huge box of stuff on the Goodwill auction site. Um, I sold the, the bigger playset pieces locally, got my money back with that sale, and all of the dozens of pieces I've got now I'm selling on eBay. This is one of them and sold for $13.11 with free shipping. And of course it'll go very cheaply. It's just a little plastic ladder. Patagonia jacket. Accepted an offer on this last night for $25 plus shipping. Um, it had a couple of issues. One of the snaps was the, the plastic outside part of this, the snap was broken. It still snapped though. And then um, there was a cord for tightening the waist that had come through its hole. So it either needed to be repaired or just not be used. So I went ahead and accepted an offer of 25 plus shipping. And then the last item is this D&D &D, uh, book. This book was in very rough condition. Picked it up at a garage sale for a dollar. Uh, it, was, it was rough. Let's see, the edges there. Um, and I showed all of it, so I accepted an offer of $10 plus shipping on this. Keep an eye out for the uh, Dungeons and Dragons type stuff, the vintage. could do really well. You know, I only got $10 on this item, but some of the stuff can go for hundreds of dollars. So. so that's the last 50 items I have sold on eBay. Hope you enjoyed this sales results video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I uh, hope you learned something new to look out for in this. And uh, I will be back again at some point with uh, either a haul, a uh, vlog, or another sales results video. I'll try to get these sales results videos out more often. Uh, maybe uh, you know, like once a week get one out. Now that we're uh, past the holidays, uh, I should be more regular with my videos. So, Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will uh, see you next time.